Good morning. I'm Stephen with the National Weather Service in Chicago. It's 7 a.m. on De December 20th, 2013. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia briefing. I want to take the next couple of minutes to bring you up to date on the latest forecast, con forecast information concerning the system to affect much of the region this weekend. But before doing so, I'd like to like to point out some ongoing hazards that are going that are occurring across uh, the area at this time. Right here we can see our latest radar imagery across the area and we are seeing some precipitation move across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. The black dotted line is trying to indicate uh, just north of that line are areas where we are observing light freezing rain or light drizzle and areas south of that line we are observing primarily just rain or drizzle. This is expected to continue through much of the morning and even into the early afternoon primarily once again just north of that line. Although as we go into this afternoon and evening, we are continuing to monitor the potential for cooler temperatures to move across the remaining areas, which could lead to some light icing with light freezing rain or drizzle possible for remaining areas late this afternoon into the evening and even, even into the early morning hours of Saturday as well. Here's our current uh, map of, a head, of the headlines that are currently in place right now. In the pink across north central and far northeast Illinois, we can see that we do have a freezing rain advisory that is in effect into 3 p.m. Central Standard Time this afternoon. There is also actually a dense fog advisory, which is in effect for portions of northwest Indiana, with visibility being reduced to one quarter mile or less in this fog, as well as noting the flash flood watch that's actually uh, in effect for e portions of east central Illinois and northwest Indiana. What I'd like to also note out is that we do have a special weather statement in effect right now uh, explaining uh, potential trends into this afternoon and tonight with regards to the remaining areas outside of the freezing rain advisory possibly observing some light icing. Latest forecast track with the expected low this weekend uh, continuing to move across the southern plains and, and lift northeast through the mid-Mississippi Valley into northern Indiana and then across the eastern Great Lakes uh, by Sunday morning. Uh, the map is also indicating that there is some variability uh, with, with regards to the track of this low with once again could play a big part into potential for snow or ice or rain across the area. Continuing on a further northwest track would favor warmer temps and mainly rain across much of the, the area as well as a further southeast track would favor more snow especially across northern Illinois. But in spite of the certainties of snow and ice uh, versus rain, uh, we're still monitoring the potential for significant rainfall to occur across uh, much of the region, and especially across portions of central Illinois into Indiana, uh, that could result in flooding concerns as the ground is frozen and with up to one inch of liquid of in the snowpack. So impacts here for this weekend for December 21st and the 22nd. Once again, we are monitoring heavy rain uh, possibly ending as uh, some snow across east central Illinois and northwest Indiana with timing with regards to this uh, heavy rain and possible snow would be Saturday into early Sunday. Impacts from this uh, heavy rain and snow would be flooding with uh, rapid rises on small streams and creeks with possible ice jams um, across various rivers in the area. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain uh, are all possible across portions of northern Illinois Saturday into Sunday, all of which will create hazardous travel from the potential from this snow and ice accumulation. Here is our latest map showing the prelimin preliminary precipitation threat areas for, for this significant weekend, weekend storm. As you can see across uh, far northern Illinois, we are indicating that the, the more potential for snow and ice uh, with uh, significant snow and ice accumulations possible going further south from that line. Uh, you start getting into areas where rain, freezing rain, and sleet are all possible uh, going into Saturday night and then ending as snow on Sunday. Further south across east central Illinois and northwest Indiana, we are indicating the areas of uh, heaviest rain and flooding threat uh, with once again the uh, flash flood watch in effect for those areas as well. Here is our latest map of uh, the precipitation that is expected over the next several days. As you can see, there is still a highest access of uh, rainfall is expected across southern Illinois into southern Indiana and Ohio but still wanted to know out, note that there is actually an upwards of one to two inches possible across east central Illinois and northern Indiana for this weekend. 
Also continuing to point out with regards to the snowpack that is in place across the area that up to one half to one half inch up to one inch across the area that would uh, help to uh, cause uh, elevated rises in this rivers and streams uh, with this rainfall this weekend. Once again we do have the current headlines in place with uh, our winter storm watch across our northern tier of counties in northern Illinois from 6 p.m. Saturday to 6 p.m. Sunday with a flood watch in effect from Saturday morning through Sunday morning across east central Illinois and northwest Indiana. And in summary, we are continuing to monitor the moderate to heavy precipitation event likely across the area this weekend. There are still some uncertainties with regards to the system and resultant precipitation type with uh, subtle differences uh, making a huge difference in, in areas observing snow, ice, or rain. Where it does rain, it could be heavy at times uh, with rainfall of one to two inches across uh, portions of Illinois and Indiana. Uh, frozen, ground, frozen ground coinciding with the snowpack in place will also lead to these rises in rivers as well. And continuing on, um, if enough cold air it was spread to uh, northern Illinois, heavy snow and ice could be, uh, could be a result on Sunday. Uh, this could uh, lead to significant accumulations and make travel hazardous across portions of northern Illinois. So please stay tuned to our latest forecast updates and changes as uh, as changes are once again certainly possible in the next couple of days. Thank you for your time. Once again, it's 7 a.m. on December 20th, 2013. Thank you for joining for this multimedia briefing. Have a good day.